In this tutorial, I will discuss the different LoRa chips. LoRa chips can be divided into two types, chips which are used in gateways and chips which are used in endnotes. Samtech owns a LoRa intellectual property but has licensed the intellectual property to other chip manufacturers like Microchip, S3 Microelectronics and Hope RF. These are the LoRa chips which are used in the endnotes. These values were taken from data sheets, which you can find in this link. The SX1268 is intended for the Chinese market, and the SX1276 is used in many LoRa modules in Europe and United States. Every LoRa gateway has the following two components a processor to demodulate a signal, and one or two transmit or receive radios. For the processor, you can choose between the SX1301 and the SX1308. And for the radios, the two most common use types are the SX1255 and the SX1257. But there's also another one, SX1258, but it is used in China. A LoRa gateway using SX1301 or SX1308 chip supports up to 10,000 endnotes and it has 10 programmable reception channels. Channel 0 to 7, channel 8, and channel 9. Channel 0 to 7 supports only bandwidth 125 kHz. Channel 8 only supports bandwidth 125, 250, or 500 kHz. And channel 9 is intended for legacy FSK or GFSK formatted signals. The SX1301 or SX1308 chip can scan all eight channels simultaneously for preambles of all data rates and can demodulate simultaneously up to eight packets. For example, the first packet spreading factor 7 packet on channel 0 and the eighth packet spreading factor 8 packet on channel 5, which means maximum eight packets simultaneously. Please note, it cannot do both preamble detection and demodulation process at the same time. These are the LoRa chips which are used in the gateways. These values were taken from data sheets, which you can find in this link. These chips are used as transmit or receive radios. This chip is intended for the Chinese market. And these two chips are the processors. This chip is intended for outdoor usage. Look at the operating temperature. And this chip is intended for indoor usage. And here is its operating temperature. The company Hope RF made several LoRa compatible chips. These chips are RFM95, 96, and 98. More information about these chips can be found at these two locations. These chips can be found in many LoRa modules and can be purchased at Chinese web shops. These are the LoRa compatible chips which are used in endnotes. These values were taken from data sheets which you can find in this link. The marking W means CE FCC version for overseas market and without W are meant for Chinese market. These two chips have the same RF96 marking, but this chip is only available in 868 and 915 MHz, and this chip is only available in 433 MHz. This chip is compatible with SX1276 and can be used in the AU863 to 870 ISM band. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.